Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. <gasps> That's why Nia has a giant kitty for one! Oh my god, this makes so much sense. And because Rex's pants are so big and ridiculous, that's why Pyra's boobs are so big and ridiculous. God dang it. I'm sorry to understand, guys. This is all starting, it's all becoming much clearer. And now back to Rex and his big stupid pants. Hello! Sneak up Back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. When we last left off, we arrived here in Toragoth! 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 It's only a model. Shh. And here we uncovered uh, quite a bit of dank lore about how blades function, which when is kind of- get so late? Fun. Oh, and I've started glowing. I'm a bit self-conscious. <laughs> what? what are you, what? Huh? Well, I can't really see very well because you have a cloak on you right now, Pyra. And you're walking into me. <laughs> that was kind of funny though. And I'm glowing. <laughs> But yes, we got some deep, dank lore about how the blades sort of function. We did sort of get kind of tossed into just becoming a driver, and now Rex is finally figuring out how, how this shit even works. And apparently, yes, this whole thing with, like, the, the core crystals, right? Which apparently only the chosen one can get, or they'll literally blow up into a bloody mess. And I guess also blue blood for the cat people, maybe? Or maybe all people have blue blood in this game? I guess technically we also have blue blood, but it's only red when it gets exposed to air. But that's beside the point. That guy exploded. And then another guy got a cool spear. And then almost two seconds later, we were immediately confronted by some guards, a new booba blade, who then proceeded to beat us in a cutscene after we had actually beaten her in the boss fight, because this game seems to like to lie to us. And then we're saved by Tora, a little uh, Nopon guy, who I'm actually not sure he's, he's gonna be a party member or not, because he actually isn't in my party, even though I think he's with me. I think. I don't know where he is, actually. <laughs> but Nia's been kidnapped by the Empire. And we need to go save her. But it's cool. It's very interesting so far. I, I am glad that the game is taking a second to sort of, like, acknowledge the, like, the lore about, like, the blades and stuff. And Rex, in a lot of ways, is acting like us and that, you know, there's a bunch of rules to this shit that we're kind of unaware of. It really does give me Bleach vibes, man. Like, I really do. It feels so inspired by, like, the Shimigami and the Zanpakuto of Bleach. Granted, I don't, it wasn't really a chosen one element of that. I mean, no, I guess there kind of was actually, because like technically like the lower spirits or whatever in Bleach could become Shim Shimigami, which are like basically elite Grim Reapers. But it's interesting. I, I, I will say this game is doing a lot of stuff that is like, I don't know if I've ever quite seen before, like with this crazy boosting mechanic of like the pouch items and the uh, the way the battle system is set up this time around is actually pretty damn different than how they did in the last game. Like it feels really different. This whole like gotcha mechanic with the blades, which I'm, I mean, I don't know if I, how I feel about that one. That one definitely feels like a weird choice. Because apparently there are a lot of different blades you can get in this game. But you guys did say that apparently once you've gotten a rare blade, you will not get that rare blade again. Meaning that every time you get a rare blade, you are slimming down the number of chances it takes to actually get like the remaining ones. But I think you can get as many common ones as there are. So I see. It makes me wonder then if the, do the rare blades have like set stats then? And it's only the common blades that have like randomized stats? Maybe. I don't know. I still feel like there's a lot of like kind of lingering questions I have even about the stuff that's been revealed. You guys, oh yes, you also did explain to me a bit more about how the affinity chart is here. So like I was wondering, well, what is fire mastery? So all of the green ones here are field skills. So these are the things that would be used to affect the environment in some way. Or you know, like, you know, the cooking thing where I can like make and uh, cook up different items. Sometimes there will be things or, or obstacles that you encounter that require a higher level of a certain field skill so now that i've got her at level two that means she can i guess get past level two required items which i will say i'm already kind of seeing that like a potential problem down the line i don't know I, I i will be curious to see how this goes but i'm at, at the outset here i'm a little like a little nervous like oh god oh jesus christ there's a billion different blades apparently that you can get and they're each gonna have like field skills of some kind and it seems like there could be a very large variety of field skills that I'm almost wondering if there's going to be like parts of the game where things just stop, where I literally cannot proceed until I get the right motherfucking jobber blade for that specific situation and then level them up to the right like skill. 
I don't know. That I'm kind of worried about that. Like this initially seemed kind of interesting, but that was sort of along the the thinking that there was just gonna be like a few blades, right? And that things were like walled off to make sure that you don't like maybe get too far in the game or before you're ready. But now it's starting to seem a little more haphazard. I don't know. I mean, it could be, maybe it'll be all right. Maybe that won't be like a problem, but I definitely am a little bit worried about it. But yeah, so these are the passive abilities, the yellow ones, and then the red ones are the specials. Gotcha. Oh yes, yeah, so the other thing, the reason why the, the critical only went up a little bit, it's multiplicative, not additive. I see. I guess that makes sense. Otherwise, it'd probably be a little busted. <laughs> if, it went up, if it went up 12% in total, that would that would have been pretty crazy. But anyway, last episode, Ekimax said, so in regards to me commenting on how, like, I'm a little worried that this game's tutorial system might, like, continue to the end of the game. They wrote, hey, you've made it to the final boss, but don't worry, the good old tutorials are here to hold your hand. So it's very important that you know this. Don't die. Because if you die, you lose. And if you lose, then we all do. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. I swear to God, if that shit happens, if I get to the end of the game and I'm still getting fucking tutorials popping up, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I get that this game has a lot of weird kind of unorthodox gameplay mechanics, but dude, come on, man. I, I think we can eventually figure this shit out. I think, hopefully. Just like how I'm slowly being able to wrap my mind around Rex's big stupid pants, I'm sure I can figure out this game at some point. And hey, if I don't, you guys are here to help fill in the holes. <laughs> but Ekimok, thank you so much for your uh, hilarious and hope to God doesn't actually happen comment. And it's for that reason you are comment of the day. By the way, a few other tidbits and fun factoids you guys told me about. So apparently um, there was actually something that was patched out of the game that became infamous back in the early days of this game where that scene where we fought the guards, apparently the guards in the original version had a bunch of random like lines that they kept spouting again and again and again, like really loud. And they were like overlapping with each other. And it was so like obnoxious and ridiculous that it became like notorious in the fan base before it was eventually patched out of the game. So I sadly did not get to uh, experience that. Maybe I'll do it on a stream or something one day, but that does sound pretty funny. Just hearing that actually makes me think a little bit of uh, like what Kingdom Hearts do, you know, get up on the Hydra's back, right? Phil just won't shut the fuck up. It's like, I know dude, shut up. I'm getting to it. All right, another thing you guys mentioned was that apparently what I was thinking about this game's voice direction is sort of on the mark because apparently a lot of the uh, the lines that were said by the voice actors, they weren't really given much direction. And it seems like they also might have just had like a, like one or two takes for every one of their lines, meaning that things were kind of not super well uh, put together. And I'm definitely getting that here. It's a bit of a mixed bag with the voice acting in this game. And while I, I will appreciate in what I initially thought, the, the whole varying accents seem kind of unusual because it's not something you tend to see in a fictional game like this. And, you know, the fact that there is actually a rhyme and reason to it, which did help me, you know, I appreciate it in that regard. I still will say, yeah, the voice acting is a little bit all over the place. There are definitely some good ones and there's some... <laughs> and then there's Rex's scream. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go figure out where Nia is. Oh, I did also have you guys say that I can't actually get some additional stuff for my past here. I think I said that includes some some core crystals for the, the blades here. First off, I also recommend don't look at the blade album, which I kind of pieced together myself because I got I was already seeing, oh yeah, I see silhouettes in here. That's probably don't want to risk spoiling anything of like what these guys could look like but uh also don't go too crazy with these oh shit wow so apparently the way these also work so the common ones are like like the drop rate is normal and then the rare core crystals you can get rare ones i think like times 1.5 or something and then the legendary you have a three times chance of getting a rare crystal but you guys also sort of point out and i think i wasn't even clear on this the blades that you pull are character specific so meaning it if I'm here, right? Yeah, select a character to bond with. It's only Rex here, so it wasn't really clear to me initially, but you know, once I get my other characters back, I'll be able to pick them. So when you pull the blade for that character, you cannot equip it on another character. And I think that's what the, that other item I got, that key or that rare item I got from uh, that chest was before, was it basically allows you to reassign a blade to another character. However, you guys indicated that that shit is super rare. So probably don't use it like you know very often okay that's fine i am actually legitimately curious and this is a, this is a question for you guys is it actually possible for you to just beat the game like without any of this like if i just had pyra and nothing else would you even need any of these blades i am almost like wondering if that's possible i feel like it probably is i feel like it's totally possible that's kind of what my gut feeling is saying though maybe it's like crazy harder like some kind of challenge 
And oh yeah, and I also recommend don't skip these because you can, you know, get a rare one and it might be, uh, you might miss it. So, all right. The only thing that kind of sucks though is that unfortunately I can't like pause and skip this part where he's grabbing it, which is kind of annoying. All right, let's just see if I can't get at least one rare blade. I think that's a regular one, right? Interesting. So they actually have like a... Let's enjoy our cooperation. Yeah, they actually have like actually female looking ones too. Female looking uh, common blades. Okay, cool. Give me at least one game. I will say I'm at least glad the game is not like, hey, if you want to increase the chances of getting shit, spend some fucking Xeno bucks with our premium currency and bull crap. Oh, this looks like something. Well, that's an interesting. I'm Adnane. I aim to fulfill my intellectual needs through mediums other than books. Whoa. Time to travel the great wide world. What in the? Stimulate the synapses. Uh, oh, okay. S stimulate the synapses? What? Okay. Uh, I'm down. That works. Adenine. She has book, book wrist guards or something? Okay. That is a wild ass design. She's got a huge belt on her chest. She has like paper legs. She's got a book also chained to her backside. Wow. Yeah. Had a goddamn good time with uh, designing this, some of these characters, didn't they? All right. Yeah, okay, sure. I'll throw you on here. Oh, wait. That's right. I can only equip two right now. So, so how do you like compare to these guys? You're not even... Your stats are... Wait. Oh, you have a you have very good ether defense. Actually, your strength is pretty good, too. Yeah. Auto attack damage. Everything else is pretty much the same, though. But she just raised up my ether and my dexterity. Am I... Really, if my strength goes down? You just leave it to me. I'll use my brains to put this team to good use. What? Okay. Okay. What? That was a lot of voice. I was not expecting. So I'm looking at the the blade here, right? And the strength down there is the strength is eight, right? And it increases my strength to 81, but then hers is 19 and my strength only goes to 73. How the hell does this shit work? So it's not that it's increasing my strength, it's her strength, but isn't her strength also my strength? I'm like, I don't know, man. Some of this shit, like, it is kind of weird. Maybe I, should, I shouldn't think about it too much. Just fucking roll with it. But I'm also, I am sort of a puzzle by some of what the fuck it, some of this shit means. Why things are the way they are. All right, book girl. Let's, uh, I guess, see what your shit's all about, too. It's funny. She looks so happy in the video. And actually so bored here in this picture. Holy moly. Yeah, she's way more filled out than the uh, other guy was. Form a blade combo, too. Okay. So what's her wind mastery? Keen eye. The power to see all things clearly. Used to know small changes. Extra ancient wisdom. Knowledge about super old culture. Lost of the cloud sea. Exclusive to Adonine. Oh. Exclusive to her? So what the fuck? There's going to be like some random ass, like singular thing in this world that only she can fuck around with? Is that what that means? I wasn't expecting like exclusive skills. Oh, that's even more obnoxious, actually. That's actually gonna be really annoying. If that's a thing, that means that there's gonna be only one type of character in Blade that, that you have only a chance of getting to pull that will unlock some shit. Oh boy. So primitive knuckles. Does that mean when I actually switch to her, I'll actually have like fisty cuffs? Actually, yeah, it does seem that way. So we got like the Aegis sword, the gr a great ax, a chroma katana. That's actually kind of dope. We're actually gonna be wielding like a bunch of different weapons. Feral uppercut, grand smash, bullet punch, no one inch punch. So blade switch. <laughs> yep, and I also get the uh, fisticuff uh, books. That's neat. Kind of give me like the near vibes with these like, or actually, yeah, like near replicant. You know, those weird creatures or something with that. Our legs are structured. All right, I think, man, get you uh, a blacksmith thing here. Oh shit, man. This sucks a critical chance up to 25% too. Shit. Peak Knuckles. This is what peak performance looks like. Okay, let's talk to people. Seagal. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Uh, and by the way, if I look, look familiar in any way, that's just a coincidence. Who are you people? Uh-oh. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to ask Ardanian soldier. <laughs> um, there's something I wanted to ask, but now I've clean forgotten what it was. Huh. It's information you're after. Go pay it for it at a local informant. Chatting with the populace isn't our job, you understand. 
<laughs> what? Well, don't blame me, Rex. There was an exclamation point over his head, all right? Come on. Have anything about a girl called Nia? Okay. To really know this, of course, but to really is informed by trade cannot find information without proper compensation. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's $3,000, you ass. Rumors of a battleship? Fuck me. Fine. My god, I've had DLC money. A Goramani girl is in prison on a Titan battleship. Her identity is unknown. Thanks so much for custom. Inside battlesh Titan battleship, Goramani girl being held prisoner. Unfortunately, Toruni not yet received intelligence specifying prisoner name. But rumors say big ship arrived for sole purpose of holding one measly girl. People are Gomari getting along quite well with Artinian nowadays, so trouble like this stuff very welcome. That seems to be opinion of most Toragoth president. That about extent of information to Rooney, no. Enough to satisfy friends? Thanks! Apparently not, because there's still exclamation points. What the fuck else do you want? Also, why is this guy... Why are you attackable? Huh? Main driver. What? I'm gonna kill this man for okay. some reason. Time to take you down. Time to kill this person here. Ah! Why the music's going in too? Eagle eye. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just gonna punch this guy. I don't like the look of him. Ah! Ah! Grand smash. Why not? Why not? Why not attack this man for no reason? He's got a blade, too, so like... Wait, is this the guy that just got the spear earlier? Am I just killing him? What? What? Oh, take this. The power of wind. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Uh, I'm all fucking dead. Uh, maybe, maybe that was a bad idea. I will commit this pain to memory. Okay. All right, book lady. Sorry, I think you and I got off on the wrong foot here. Maybe they're hunting for us or something, like bounty hunters, but they're not like aggroing us. Only I can aggro them. Hey, look, it's Dward. Have you said hi to my book waifu? Have you heard anything about a girl, bugger, bugger, bugger? Mm, guess I have. If it's information you're after, why don't you go visit the informant over near Lyaso Greens? I already did. For some reason, I still gotta talk to everybody. As much as she doesn't know, thanks. See ya, Anne. I don't know anything about that, but the girls do seem to be talking about secret cop gas stuff a lot lately. Apparently there's some kind of dangerous people causing trouble. It's only been 10 years since the war between or Moradane and Uriah and it. Why would they stir up more trouble? Sounds like a real pain. What a pain. I hope the Ardanian soldiers will be able to protect us. I don't care about that. All I care about is my cat waifu. Come on, man. Hook a brother up. Is this a good spot for fishing? Uh-oh. Is there a fishing minigame in this somewhere? It's a new day. Everyone. It's a new goddamn day today. All well and good, but don't forget to get enough sleep. I fucking. Oh my god, this chick is such a buzzkill. Fucking never mind. Back to Pyra, please. Back to the booba again. Make sure to get enough sleep, plenty of exercise, and also make sure to balance your diet with plenty of fruits and grain. And also. Okay, all right, I'm done with you. All right, back to Pyra. This compass fucking sucks, dude. This compass makes no fucking sense. Look at this shit. Look at this. I think it says 13 above, right? Is the guy that's over here. I have to literally run past him for the fucking compass to like realize, oh wait, he's over this side. Wowie. It's like interesting. Apparently the tournament member of that Ardenian Gimpire capture was some Gormati girl called Nia. I think she's familiar somehow. Didn't the old Lord of the Shell a decade ago or so ago have? Actually, no, that's not important. No, no, uh, you very best to see that in a cutscene. It's not everything to talk about. Thank you so much. Name of a Tornan. Oh, there we go. We did it. All right. Looks like I didn't have to talk to everyone. I said to talk to the right people. All right. I slewed around and learned stuff. The race to find Nia. Where am I going now? Am I going back down below? Yep. Back to uh, Taurus house. Okay. I guess he just hung out here. Nia and Dromark executed. It doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full on attack. No, Rex, we can't put everyone in danger. Right, 
Sorry. Sorry. There. This is one of the Grand Arbor's ruse, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here, it looks like some kind of cargo entrance. Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. Uh-oh. I like the sound of that. What's this then? Nobody ever see this before. Uh. Secret of Tora. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Tora have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Tora Tora too fat. Uh, Tora has no potential to awaken core crystal. It burns inside. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and oh. <laughs> you did, didn't you? Did you explode? Yes, one year ago. Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh dearie me. Did that guy die? Like, he is dead, right? Oh, Tora, you mean you... It was bad. <laughs> Tora had nosebleed for three oh days. Oh, my God. Nosebleed? What the fuck? That's anime, right? Oh, 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 he's like fucking like having a seizure or something. Just a uh, nosebleed. What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know? Yeah, but from a nosebleed. You probably could die from a anyway, nosebleed, actually. moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampy Pon and Dada Pon. But Grampy Pon die, and Tora still not know where Dada Pon go to. <gasps> was your dad Ricky? Oh. I bet it was. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Yeah, there we go. Just... Then Dada Pon hear about Tora's success and come back home. Yes. Fucking yeah, you know if you're not the chosen one, you know you like you you don't happen to be the, one of the lucky few. Just fucking force your stupid way in there. No, bitch, I am the chosen one. All right, made my own goddamn blade. With cardboard and duct tape and broken dreams. Oh, Tora. By the by, Tora, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, really? Well, I got really? DLC shit, but no. that's mine. At all? Nothing at all. Not even one gold. Really, dude? So, you're asking for a loan? Uh, not loan. <laughs> um, closer to generous donation. Are you fat fuck? Just like a nopon. <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. I say we but, eat but, him. But if Tora completes Artificial Blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, no more than 60,000 gold. Fuck you, dude! 60,000? Do you want a kidney as well? You want my left Calm testicle down, too? Rex. I think we owe Tora our help. No, fuck him! If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Can you print money out your tits assist. or something? Is that a field oh, exactly. skill? Nothing illegal. I hope! Don't even joke, Gramps. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> the funny thing is, that would have gone over my head if he hadn't just smacked him in. Wow! 
damn okay never mind suddenly suddenly the game is like suddenly aw self-aware of how fucking ridiculous she looks right damn look at the tits on this chick yes yes gramps i'm gonna whore myself out there just like all the other dirty whore blades out there dude you, you gotta believe there's like a marker for fucking like blade prostitution because come on right come on look at them look at those this is a natural crystal it should fetch around 60,000. It's also a piece of my no soul. Way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it, I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Fuck you, Rex, I'm not grinding Rabbi! that shit out. Rex, Rex is too generous. Okay, Tora, Tora, if we're gonna be friends, you gotta never say that shit to me ever fucking again, all right? The meme shit. If you do, I will actually eat you. This blade of yours had better be seriously useful, though, Tora. Ha, leave that to Tora. Well then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? I suppose they'll have to be. This fucking fat, budget, denim-covered Ricky. You're nowhere near the level of the previous daddy pawn, Tora. So, what do you actually need to finish this artificial blade? One perfect rain sensor and three bion connectors. I don't think I've ever heard of either of those. Perfect grain sensor supplements function of eyes and artificial blade. Quite pricey item, but very important. And the bion connectors. That have many uses, but mostly to prevent hat fall off. <laughs> Would an ordinary piece of string not suffice? So, um, where can we buy these items? At Magia's Odds and Ends. It just off to left after entering Torogoth City. I'm sure we have walked past that area before. All right, let's go. Do I really got to get 60K, dude? Even my DLC shit's not going to cover that at this point. What do I got? I got less than 50. Yeah, I got 46. Whose dick do I got to suck to fucking get that moolah? Where's the blade? I didn't. We didn't even get a good look at it. Like, did these weird cuts. It looked like a small girl. Tor, I need to ask. If that, if that is the case, why was that your go-to? Where even the hell is that room? Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, it's behind this, I think. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Can I actually see? Oh, wait. Yeah, I can see her. There she is. I can see her right through the crack. That is definitely, uh, I think, a little girl. Oh, I see. That was the thing standing next to him on the title screen. She got like a little flower on her chest and like a giant cape. I think it's a girl. I guess it could be a little boy, too. I'm not sure. I mean, it's a robot. It's kind of hard to counter to gauge the uh the gender oh it's real so we got a bunch of quests too you see your ogre fine uh, whatever hi there so big wig and more things put a boatload of orders in and now i don't even have time to scratch myself all my furniture is made to order you see he's only the finest gomadi lumber to make our customers furniture related dreams come true wow pretty impressive hmm actually i haven't seen you a lot around here you tourist yeah any chance you might see my son polly on your way here yeah no Oh, okay. Just normally he should have come home by now. Really? I asked him to run an errand for me, you see, and he's not back yet. He's just a kid, so I can't let him off with a little meandering, but sometimes you can't help but worry, you know? I'm trying to go sing some sort of deadline extension with our Ardenian client, but no dice. Not only that, they've even threatened to sue me for all I have if I don't make, myself, make it the delivery, so I can go looking myself. Uh -huh. People these days are talking about public orders so much that they forget basic human decency. Ah, big pardon. There I go again, mouthing off my poor travelers. Please pay me no mind, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'd like to help, if that's okay. Well, no please, I couldn't possibly ask you to. It's all right, it's just, this is what I'm gonna be doing probably a lot of this game. Ah, oh, well, thank you then. My boy Polly was headed off to the wage tree, I believe. Hope you find him okay. Concerned Carpenter. So I wonder if these are, uh, these quests are timed at all. Oh, I do get some stuff for my blades though. Emergency guard and evasion focus, that's pretty good. All right, let me talk to this guy, or girl, whoever. Well, hello there. Tor here to buy perfect rain sensor and buy and connect us. Okay, so he is with us. Oh, you're the young note pawn who was kissing longly at those the other day. Meh, meh. You noticed? Well, seeing you were staring for three hours straight. <laughs> but I'm dreadfully sorry. We're all out of perfect rain sensors right now. We got plenty of bio connectors still, though. There are four, 4,000 G apiece. 12,000 for three of them, huh? That really is a pretty pricey. Rex Rex promised to pay a whole amount. No backsies. Oh, fuck you, dude. I'm gonna throw you in the fucking cloud ocean. I mean, sure, I'm not about to go back on my word, but... Hmm. Are you one of those salvagers? Yep. I may not look it because of me and my dumb pants, but I'm actually a professional at it. Then maybe you could get a Bion connector that way. Apparently, they fish the things up quite regularly around this season. 
Now that's not a bad idea. Let's go give it a try. Sounds way cheaper. Good luck, Rex Rex. I'll um, cheer you on too. Thanks, random cat girl. Artificial Blades Part 1. Okay, I'll make this my quest. The real problem is the perfect range sensor. Can we not salvage that as well? Don't think I've heard of any likely spots for those lately. They're almost impossible to find except when the titans and the clouds see align in exactly the right way. I guess we just can wait. We don't exactly have time to waste, so perhaps salvaging isn't the answer. Hey, can I ask you something? From the looks of it, this young lady here is a blade and you're a driver. Am I right? Huh? Uh, is that what it looks like? Wait one moment, please. Rex Rex and Tor are also blade, actually. Does that make me the driver? Surely the driver would have to be me. Can we try to be a little believable here? We need to sort out our stories. <laughs> hey now, no need to get your knickers in a twist. I'm just a regular botanist. Botanist? Tor would never have guessed. I get that a lot, I know. Fuck. I look a lot like the other guy that you just talked to before about another quest, don't I? Go ahead, say it! Thing is, I was heading to Laksham Island for a spot of field work, but I ran into a bit of monster trouble. I tried asking the Imperial Army to help me out, but it looks like they're pretty busy right now. So I figure if you're a lot of a decent fighting, maybe you can take care of the issue for me. If you help me out, I might be able to get a spare perfect rain sensor I've got lying around in storage. Well, that sounds perfect. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Laksham Island isn't hard to find. You can see it to the left as you exit the city through the main entrance. Just take care of the Jumpin' Crabble you find there. Fucking more Crabbles? Seriously? How many fucking Crabbles are in this game? And just be careful, because they can be vicious. The goddamn Crabble boy. All right, part deuce. Okay, good. So I don't have to spend like a billion dollars on this fat-ass Nopon. I can just get this shit the old-fashioned way with my working man's hands. Bowery. Do you know the shop called the Liesa Greens? There's a girl who works there, Tenny. She's bright and cheerful lass, but last month she lost her father. Her mother succumbed to illness a while ago. Just the two of them. It feels so bad for her now, all alone. She's got the brains to put out new products, no problem. But running a shop by herself must be hard. You can probably tell I'm worried about her, so I'd like you to save her business. <laughs> wow, okay, dude, she fucking... How about we pay off all our student loans while we're at it? I'd like to hear the details, Rex. What about you? Yeah, same here. Can you feel us in? I just gave you the details. What, 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 what do you mean? What, what else do you want to know? First of all, buy one piece of every product that's on offer. Then let Tenny know you mean well. What that means is she'll let you buy the deeds of Liasu Greens. When you do that, you'll become the shop's owner. With me so far? Well, when I say owner, I don't mean the like sharing in profits, but relax. There's plenty of benefits to it still. Tenny will be relieved to know that someone like you has her back and she'll be able to get on with things. And you'll get special boons too. For example, things like making harvesting e easier or running faster. How about it? Can I count on you? Leave it to me. That's the right answer. Like I said before then, first buy the whole section of goods at Tenny Shop. Including the new purry leaf salad, of course. But off you go. But I feel like I'm about like to get in like a Ponzi scheme or something. Like this guy's gonna like pull out the rug from underneath me. Okay, so Tenny Shop, this person. So what do you got? So just one of each. That's not too bad. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, paying it forward. So now doctor again. Oh, and then, holy shit. Increases item drop collection range by 50 centimeters? So this is like a permanent upgrade? Thank you. Feels really great to see Tenny smile again. She's always been cheerful and kind, but also kind of stubborn. I know she doesn't need her old friends like me looking over her shoulder, but she can stand on her own feet. I know this, but still, I can't help but being a little worried, can I? I just wanted to give her a hand, just a bit. With your help, I think she'll have the confidence she needs for the shop she inherited to thrive. Looks like everything worked out. And also, you know, it's not just Tenny's shop. Other businesses work much the same way. Buy every item they have, and they'll start offering you to sell you their deeds. Buy that, and you'll get a nice fat advantage. Different ones depending on the shop. Ah, one word of warning, though. It's not every shop that'll offer their products from the get-go. Few do, in fact. In those cases, you'll have to raise the development level before they'll sell everything, letting you get the deeds. Oh, okay. Interesting. This is interesting. So you, you buy all of the the items from their shop one time and then you can buy literally like the deed to their store i like how they just like were willing to like all right well you've invested in my shop now so take the deed it's all yours buy my stock and i get in a permanent upgrade and sometimes if they don't seem to offer the deeds no matter what it's worth trying again in a little bit oh, sorry to keep you so long i can stop being such a busybody now have my gratitude thanks for everything thanks huh okay that's neat 
Holy shit. That means I'm going to be buying a lot of stuff that I don't give a fuck about. Just to increase the, the shop level. Oh, I see there's a star next to her thing, too. A little badge. So, like, all right, let me buy... Let me buy one of these tasty sausages. I'm going to bet he probably... Yeah. So, it didn't, didn't go up, which makes sense. It only has two items. God, it doesn't mean I'm going to end up having a fucking shit ton of items in my inventory. I wonder who that applies to, though. Like, does it apply to the salvaging guy? I'm technically, like, all he's got is... This shit? Uh, maybe later or something? I, I don't know. It's a shame that you have absolutely no way of knowing at the outset if you, once you buy all their items, whether that's actually going to do it or not. Whether that's actually their entire stock. Literally, I'll take your entire stock! Oh, de development level one. I guess that explains why shopping does increase the development level. This definitely seems like the kind of thing you need a wiki for, right? Holy mother of what is this? Inherited core crystal. Half a million G. What the fuck? What even is it? I don't know because it doesn't tell me. There's no button I can press to even have it show me. These are the ones I can go hunt up myself, right? Or I could just buy it, but yeah, it's not. That's I don't want to spend that money. So I guess like one of these points here. Try a normal one, see if that does it. Shit. This one's that's right. This one's uh Oh wait, switch between A and B. Clunk. It's fucking crabs. Alright, here we go. Switch to book. I think. Oh, wait. Can I switch to the book lady? There we go. Oh, it says the name there. Adenine! Punch! Oh, I actually like that we're, like, he's wielding different weapons, too. Hey, Aquatic Hunter. Chain of Keys. Oh, wow. Suddenly I'm getting a lot of these uh, things that you equip on your blades. What are they called again? Axe cores. So it like that. I was like, first I was like, oh, I only got one, but now they're dropping like crazy. Increases damage by 100% for the first star of our per battle. Damn, that's pretty good. Increased damage dealt to uh, aqu aquatic organisms. Oh, oh, it's, it's unrefined though. Okay, I get you. So I think these might end up being like the gems that you get in Xenoblade 1 where they, you just eventually will start getting like a billion of these things. You're all mine. There's one Bion Connector. You're all mine. Hey, there we go. Got it. And a few more for good measure. And arrived. <laughs> Gara, Gara Gorm's thinks. Arch. Tucker. What's up, Tucker? You fucker. Oh, this sucks. I like to hear the details. What about you, Rex? Yeah, I feel like I'm having that. I work at the cult. Kalia timber side up by the Gorma Titan's name, you see. Day in, day out, we're breaking our backs, chopping down trees. The other day I got to work and noticed a load of them were missing. Just vanished into thin air. Even with all of us working together, we only managed maybe five trees a day. They're massive, you see. They're really heavy to poop. It's hard, hard work. So it pisses me right off to think someone's just stealing them. Leave it to us. Well, I don't know what it is, but we're doing something. Really? Oh, man. Everyone at the side will be so thrilled to hear that. I'm afraid I got nothing when it comes to the thief, though. Guess the best place to start would be asking around Timberside. So I'm gonna have a lead for you. Rex, shall we get to work on this right away? With you, you by my side, Pyra, I'm up for any challenge. <laughs> uh, what were you? What, what, what was that? Are you guys having a moment? Sorry, you, you want me to leave? I'll over there later to find out here what you found. See you then. Passion of the Odyssey. Welcome to Kloom Farm, which if that, if they didn't have an L there, there could have been something very different. Huh. Coolie Lake. That's a coolie lake, man. Where am I even going? Oh, God. So many numbers were on top of each other. I can't. Okay. It's like, it's actually really far away. It's actually really, really far away. What have we here? <laughs> Some random kids over here. Ah, take this! Ah, 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 oh, it's you my eyes! Ah. Okay, so watch out for the giant monkey. Oh, there's a quest out here, too. Sulia! Ah, oh, that looks fun. Hi there! Ah, yeah. <laughs> Something wrong? We'll play with them, too, because I can't swim. Oh, we're looking down at the kids. Oh. So whenever I was having fun at the water side, I just stand here feeling daft. I can practice my swim, but without the equipment, and he's, it's all a bit tough. Let me guess, I go gather that shit. How about a plant grows on the coolie lake called Bowie Weed? 
Close some water should be perfect for swimming lessons, but there's monsters near there. But it grows, so I can't just pick it up. And I got eight last time I tried. Locked help, that's okay. Pick some for me? Okay, well, three should be enough to keep me afloat. Okay. Pabooey can't swim. It's guarded by a very mean giraffe. Uh, the heck is this like a treehouse or something over here? No, nah, leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. Climb the ladder, Rex. Oh, shit. Booty. Treasure acquired. Oh, yeah. Grand Arbor Ward. Uh, oh, ow. Red chest. I think the red ones are like the more rare ones. Yeah. Whoa. Activity amulet. Boost the effects of HP pushes by 20%. Ooh. Grand Arbor Ward. Increase the HP restored when being revived by 25%. Eh. Oh, shit. That's, this is actually pretty good. Increase strength by 22. Oh, shit. I did not see that. That's actually a rare one as well. Oh, an attack stone. It's a... Wait. A rare attack stone? Oh, they're not always the same. Oh, they have the same name, but a different rarity, so they're better. That's interesting. Did not realize that was also a thing. Ah, shit, there's that big fat monkey. Is he coming this way? Bro? 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 Oh, okay, good. Oh, fucker. Scare me. Like, dude, what did I do? I didn't do it. I'm just hanging out, man. Okay, bring it on. Oh, shit. Don't aggro me. Don't aggro me. I'm going in here. Go in your little hole here. Oh, shit. I like your attitude. I can see that you place great trust in me. Don. Fuck, I'm fucking dead. You suck, book lady. Fuck, I'm all the way back I here. Commit this pain to memory. I will remember that pain of dying. All right, let's try to avoid the big monkey that is literally standing where I need to go. I'm just gonna grab this. Come out, come out. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, bro. Just want these rocks. There we go. Yeah, that's a good monkey. It's a good fucking monkey. Go back to scratching your ass. Yeah, so essentially all of those like loose items that were in Xenoblade 1, like the blue objects that were just lying about, have basically been have been turned into these collection points, right? And now also with chests thrown in there, they can pick up, which I think is good. I, think, I, I like that uh, that setup better than what it was in the last game. Where everything was just kind of just thrown all over the place. Okay, Pietre. Oh, Tucker, he got you hunting down those thieves, has he? Yeah. That's our Tucker for you. When something gets to him, he doesn't let it go easily. I know he'd be mad if I hid anything about this, so I'll tell you what I know. Thanks! Just the other day, I saw some shady types looking around here. Looked like they were scoping out the site. Thinking about it now, they could easily have been plotting a theft. You get me? You never guessed who it was, though. Who was scoping out the site? Nopon, Turkin, Ardanians? Ardanians? See your logic there. Kamani wood is valuable commodity in Moradane. I'm always surprised if someone resorted to stealing to get their hands on some. But afraid you were wrong this time. The ones I saw were a bunch of Turkin. I don't know what the hell that is. They're smarter than we give them credit for, those Turkin. Some can talk and build wooden houses, too. Kind of makes sense that they'd be eyeing up the wood here. Well, I said I'll tell you all I know. Now I have. Good luck with the rest. <laughs> Thanks. Nocklea Timber site. I've never been here before, but I imagine we'll be back again soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking what? What the fuck line was that they packed a Pyra again? Hey, can I ask you about something? So Tucker's got, got you looking for the timber thieves, has he? Well, he's the kind of guy to take that sort of thing personally. Makes sense, though. The Titans grow these staggering trees, and you don't want all that effort to go to waste to be or to be taken in vain. Well, I see. Well, I can at least tell you all I know about the thief. It won't take long, because I I know absolutely nothing. Ha! Ah, look on your face, it's priceless. Ha! Got him! Sorry, but the stuff was stolen while the site was closed for the day. So nobody was here to see anything. Might have a tough time finding any witnesses. But hey, it's not a reason to give up. Keep asking, you never know. Give up, give you a push in the right direction. Roger. Thanks, dickhead. Helena. Huh? Oh, Tucker's got you hunting down the thieves. I'm not seeing anyone, but I know something that might be useful. I'd like to hear the details. Where are you, Rex? I sure would, Pyra. Well, it's just some guys to pay for my husband. Ever been to a place called Seagull Fit Fell? You know, down near the rear end of the Garamati Titan? Well, I bet you didn't know there's a little hut by the waterfall, did you? My husband says he saw a pretty big stash of lumber down there. 
and a previous big stash of fucking weed. Which is weird, because nobody's just a limpy living there, you know? It's just a tad suspicious, if you ask me. Might be nothing, but might be something. At any rate, that's all I know. Hope it comes in useful. Good luck on your hunt. Okay. Also, booty. Wing chip. Got some Tostino chips. <laughs> Tucker. So, how's it going? Anyone having good leads? So, the thing is... Hmm, I see. So, you're, what you're telling me is... The timber was stolen when the site was closed for the day. Ugh, how do you knew that, though? I'd hope that the boss would know something more useful. And you also found some Turk and I've been keeping an eye on this place. Very suspicious. Maybe they're all culprits. So, I guess someone saw a big pile of timber by the hut near a single fall. Fell. You reckon those Turk are stashing what they steal down there? Yeah. Well, I guess we're getting somewhere. Not bad. Think you can check this hut out. Maybe we'll get to the bottom of those Turkins' tricks. Or actually, should we get to work right away? I know I count here. All right, go down there and beat their ass for me. Beat this Turkin. If this were a near game, I'd go down there and, like, beat the Turkin up, and they'd be like, Why would you do that? Why? This wood was for my children's homes. How could you? They're, like, crying or something because their parents are dead, and I'm like, Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Fuck. I'm so fucking sorry. Why did I do it? Hey, look, it's a tiny monkey. He's still level 14, will beat my ass. But he's like a mini version of the other monkey. Holy mother of God. There's a goddamn freaking, uh, what? Fucking Andronath or something? Yeah. Andronath, what are you doing here, dude? Oh my God. He's even stronger than the fucking monkey. He's even stronger than Territorial Rotbart. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. He's getting level 36 too. Oh, I just took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. I got around you guys. Ah! Oh, damn it. It's fine. We'll get him. It's fine. We just died. A painful death. And or else I was in fucking Jurassic Park here. Uh-oh. This might hurt. Ah, fine. Hey, is that a bunny? Oh, fuck it, fuck it is, dude. Where I've been looking at these things everywhere. It's a fucking bonnet. <laughs> what did Ryan always say? He was like, now that's a bunch of bonnets. Fucking Let's damn it. I was crazy. fucking waiting to run into these things. I, was, I thought they might be gone forever, but thank God. Thank God I was wrong. Look, Pyra, we can finally kill bonnets again. The greatest of all enemies from the last game. Yeah. What? Ah, the monkey! Ah! What the no, hell? Man. What the fuck? Don't push yourself too Rod Bart! You killed Bunny Fred! You must die! What the fuck? And then suddenly I die. I just fucking instantly die. <laughs> this fucking fat asshole off screen. Uh, thanks for killing my enthusiasm there, Rod Bart. And coming across the bunnets again. I just wanted some bunnet meat. Was that so much to ask for? Level 75 bird, you know, no big deal. Oh, hey, these things. Uh, Armu, yeah. Yeah, I recognize a lot of these creatures from uh, the previous game. What the fuck is that? What the... What? What the... What? Oh, is that a piece of his body? I think it is. He's got like... I guess he's... Oh, it's like his wings or something? He's like breathing? Shit like... Popping up and down. Is that morning wood? Titan wood. I see a little hut. And I think some shit that can kill me. Please let these, whatever this help be over here. Yeah, the turkins, those are the birds. I thought I thought I remember those guys too. Yo, what up, bird? I'm asked to say, bird up. Hey, can I ask you about something? Who you? Me, hermit turkin. Ah, ah, no, no person. You come for rescue wood? Think so? Kra, here for break turkin dreams. No good, cannot allow. With a K, only one thing for do. Fight, we fighting. Wait, re-steal? Are you saying those fuckers are actually stealing their wood in reality? Oh, fuck. This is gonna have some near plot twist after all. We're the monsters. Whatever, I'm gonna kill them anyway. Get them, Pyra, set these no. birds on fire. Okay, good. I get it. Wait, is this guy a boss? He's got an icon over his head. Shit. Uh. 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 Let's kill the kill the other ones. We're in tune. 
you need a rest? Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, the juice. Ah, oh, what the juice? What the juice? I died. It's fine. We'll get him yet. Really? Don't ah. push yourself too hard. Can I just fast travel back there? Please tell me I can. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, you are such a bitch. I think this is going to be kind of hard by myself. Maybe I should save that for another time. It's Ewan McGregor. Ewan. So you did this. You're the one that broke the crane. Uh, no. Oh, you didn't do it. Gee, sorry for the accusation. But you fucking did it, didn't you? Something wrong. Not curious, are you? That's our big important helper, the crane. Right now, the wire's out, so you just... Just taking up space. What thing are we looking at here? What what crane? I mean the monkey? I see the monkey over there. He's definitely not my friend. First thought I just staff from regular wear and tear, but it actually keeps breaking. To fix it once, I fix it again. No use. Come morning, it's broken again. The number of times it's happened as hard to see as as it is an accident. Should be tossed suspect foul play. Hmm, the sock, what should we do? Can't make it with the work we lose with the wire being broken, but Well, without the crane, we're not making much headway. What's gotta do? Good help, right, Rex? Of course, I love helping. Well, really? Wow, you're a lifesaver. There's two things you can do for me. First, I'll fix the crane so we use it again. Now, the, the crane operator is in charge of that part. She asked for details. Roger. The other thing is, finding the weasel who keeps messing with the wire, bring them to justice. Kill them. Kill them for me. Bring me their severed head. You're on your own there, though. Although, Pedal, our apprentice, is pretty keen on finding the criminal, so maybe you can ask him. Oh, I see. Found both of them by the crane. Just follow the outside wall. You can't miss it. All right, I'm counting on you. Okay, I will save this for later because I think doing a lot of these quests right now uh, with just myself is kind of tough. Far better to wait at least have, to at least have a second party member. But I just want to grab it while I was on my way over to uh, getting some more parts for the artificial blade. What the fuck? Why is the thing I need next to some level 40 horse shit? Better not be the thing I need to kill. Oh, what the? There's a level 9 dude, right? Just hanging out with a forty level 43 like fucking tumbleweed or something right. stay the fuck away from me stay the fuck away from me <laughs> what even are you oh you're a, you're a hard cra damn that is a hard crabble that's a hard ass crabble boy that must be the monster Sedwin was talking about doesn't look like a pushover that's for sure well he ain't got shit on level 43 crabble over there tall wish you could help but probably not much good for anything other than decoy or lure that works no need for any of that. We can handle this one just fine, right, Pyra? Absolutely. No need to rely on just my power, though. You should make sure you see your- Shut up! I'm using you, all right? I don't like the book girl. She says a bunch of weird shit. Indeed, we may only have one driver, but twice the blades means tw twice the potential. Good point. I'll remember that. All right, let's do this. Let's do it! Gonna fucking wrestle with this crab! I've killed so many crabs already. This thing's weak to fire, so yes, I actually should be using Pyro. Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. Rolling smash. Uh, so Let's keep this up and we'll there win we for go. sure. You consider taking the lead sometime, Pyra? I'll think about it next time, Azurda. People might look at you funny though, so watch out. Watch it. Alright, we did it. Oh hey, you're back. Took out the Jubin Crabble, did you? I knew I made the right call asking you guys. Yeah, what about the what about the level 43 one though? Nah, it's fine. He, he's actually pretty nice. Now, here's the perfect range sensor, as promised. Thanks! Had a lot of rest my grandpa's generation, so it's a bit dusty, but it should work just fine. Thanks for all your help. Everything should be fine now. Good job, Pyra. Yes, we did good. Yes, on this quest that we just did. We are friends now, Rex. Yeah, friends. Woo! Now embrace me. Embrace my bosoms. Okay. <laughs> uh okay, I think we're good. Now back to Tora's thing. Tora's who's? The rain doth come. All oh, that stormy night. Did shit go down? <laughs> it's like some Frankenstein shit. Okay, all finished. It's alive! It's really complete. Very complete. Just need to apply energy charge to activate. Tora, our friend's execution draws near. There's no time to lose. Make haste. Nia's probably dead at this know, point, let's be honest. Oh, okay, Artificial Blade. It's wakey-wakey time. That do, Tora. What, what what Tora do wrong? You can't keep calling her Artificial Blade. As her creator, 
The least you can do is give her a proper name. Oh, um, well... Actually, friends, Tora did think of name for her. Very good name. Nice. Then I guess there's no problem. Well, why don't you introduce us, Tora? Right away. Okay. Now, wakey, wakey. Tora's very own blade. Oh, Poppy. Poppy! Oh my god. Ah! It is freaking sun shit. Yeah, I'm start fucking break dancing. <gasps> Poppy? Poppy? How may I be of service, Master? What in the what? Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute! Oh, forget you see that. Tora must change the settings. What the, the fuck? Settings. What the fuck was that insinuating? This time should be okay. Wait. Second time go best. Power. Have you had this thing on, on before? I'm very confused. I thought this was the first time. Why did it say that? Thank God for their second lightning strike. Why does Pyra look happy? Greetings, Master Pawn. I did it! I created life! Tora's masterpiece. World's first artificial blade. Poppy! No, seriously, what was that? Whoa, what was that incredible. before? That is really quite something. Tora did good, huh? You impressed? Tora is a very big success. I'm slightly disturbed, Absolutely. Tora. Absolutely. You're amazing, Tora. Though, I was pretty surprised before when she was all, you know, Forget about it. That's not Tora's fault. Th that was, um... Tora, you're a little Grampy freak, bon aren't you? Grampy Bon Susie made settings. <laughs> yes, Who the definitely fuck? Grampy Bon's fault. Or she knows he's full of shit. Are you sure, Tora? Yes, Grampy Bon. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> <gasps> oh my, oh my God. Oh my, oh, oh God, no. What? What? Well, let's not dwell on that. Rex. Well, let's uh, just get the fuck out of here. No time to lose. Japan, why? Why does she have to look like a little girl, too? My name Poppy. Poppy try hard to make Master Pond proud. It's fucking goofy ass, ass music, too. Oh, yeah. That shrew thinks she... Something horny has happened. I feel it. Just because she curries favor with the emperor. What the fuck, dude? If only I'd got the Aegis myself. Sorry, I'm just... I'm still, like, absorbing when I do <laughs> fucking... <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck? Oh, my God. What? We're from, like, Nopal Mafia to just, like, horny, like, cosplaying sex doll Nopal. Like, what? What? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm good. I could have returned home in triumph or sold her to Banner for a tiny sum. A tiny sum. But it's not over. I refuse to let this place be the end of me. I will not be left to rot in this flea-bitten backwater. Captain Patrick. Uh, yes, sir. Double the number of guardsmen. Holy shit, look at the tits Round over there. up whoever you can find. We're going to find that Aegis before Morag gets her paws on her! So, as you wish, sir. Watch and learn, Morag Ladera. Ladera. So that's Morag's blade, right? I assume. So I should report back to her. Before we be leaving, Tor want to explain something to Rex Rex and Poppy. Explain what, Master Pawn? It's about this advanced gaming device. What? Advanced gaming device? You're gonna have some random ass minigame in here or something? I did wonder what that thing was for. So it's for playing games? 
Yes! Game is called Tiger! Tiger! It's hidden gem that Krabby Pond made for Tora when Tora was Little Pond. It looks like it's seen better days. Tora turned on power just now, so it should be possible to play. Rex Rex gave game a try. Hmm. Does sound kind of funny. Wait, what do you mean sounds funny? It's a tiger tiger. It's nothing about what, he, what the game was. But we want to get hooked on a game while Nia needs rescuing. Wait, wait, wait. Playing this game can unprice this special parts for power up puppy. Parts for puppy? Grumpy Pon make this game in hopes that it reveal true purpose when puppy finally complete. So if friends think puppy be too weak or just want more amazing power, play game and get new upgrade. Oh God, what? That's how her upgrade shit works? It's... Oh God. I guess that makes sense. I'll give it a go then. That is wise decision. Shall Tor explain basics? After all, Rex Rex a little wet behind ears. Use directional buttons to move. A button to attack. So that is basics. Let Tor let Rex Rex figure out rest by Rex's stuff. Learning his best by doing meh. Tiger, Tiger, go! Uh oh. Oh my, oh my God. 2017 Molosov. What in the fuck is going on? I never wasn't expecting something like this. Stage select. What am I doing? Okay. I think I heard the song in Smash Brothers. Was it from this thing? Oh, am I dead? I think I'm dead. That was something. Rex, Rex, stuff. Hey, good at game. Shut the fuck up, dude. It was my first try. It was one life. Fuck this game. Fuck you, Tora. You kinky asshole. I can't help it, can I? It was my first time playing. Puppy thing practice make perfect. Anyway, let's focus on Nia for now. So how are we going to get onto the Titan battleship when Nia's being held? As luck would have it, the cloud sea looks to be ebbing just now. We best aim for the root Pyro mentioned. The root was stretchy stretching just past Gargum's arch. From here it's easiest to go up to the top of stairs, cross bridge, and pass under the gate, then you're at Gargum's arch. Will the Ardanian guards still spot us? Area around Ardanian base heavily guarded, but up to Gargum's arch should be no problem. Alright, let's head there for now. Poppy will do best to help. Okay, so now he's gonna be a party member. I assume. Yep, there he is. Fucking little horny little puffball. So I'm guessing he probably can't get any other blades. Behold, Poppy, the world's first artificial blade. Poppy can't equip ox cores, but she has something just as good for customizing her abilities. Poppy swap. Oh, I thought it was Poppy swag for a second. And I was about to fucking throw my switch out the window. You can access Poppy swap by going to the main menu. Booga, booga, booga. To make use of the Poppy swap, you'll need to get a hold of a certain items via the Tiger Tiger game. Play Tiger Tiger as much as you can to make Poppy into her best self. Okay. Look how excited Poppy is. She's finally going on an adventure and not being used as a sex toy any longer. Empower Poppy with collected parts. Holy shit. Ether crystals. Uh, oh my God. Roll CPU. Tank mod, element core. Arts cards. What the fuck is all this shit? Special enhancing. I don't even know what the fuck this even means. <laughs> Arts, what? So arts cars, these are like her aux cores, I guess. Or, or this is. Or wait, no, maybe this? Manage parts for empowering Poppy. Oh. Holy mother of God. Yeah, so she just gets like her own special menu of aux core stuff. Her own affinity chart. How do I block an attack? I haven't figured that out yet. There's a block button? Leaping, the power to jump. No palm wisdom. Super strength. So what do you wield? Tora, I guess. What's her weapon? A uh, drill? Found this wing chip too, so throw that shit on there. Oh, it's like a, oh, it's a shield. And she seems to be earth elemental. So steady drill increases damage dealt to launch the enemy by 100%. Big boost increases damage dealt by 100% when HP is 30% or less. There's a topple. Perfect. Um, spinning cut increases aggro drawn by from driver arts by 50%. Rigid Shield. Restores 7% HP when guarding. Recharges other arts when attacked. How do I guard again? Oh, actually, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. I'm looking at, I should be looking at the left side. That's what it actually is. But you can only use three at any one time, right? Seems like I can get like four arts for each blade, but I can only use three. Is that right? 
Or can I still use this one? Just I got to press a different button. But interesting. So he, he has things to increase aggro, which I guess would suggest he is actually a bit of a tank then. I would think at least. No pull mask. Increases aggro every second. Yeah. He's like, hit me, baby. Can I start this stupid shit again? So I'm just trying to grab these items and also not fucking run into these stupid blocks. She seems like killing these enemies don't even really do anything. Other than get them out of my way. Ow. Oh, this guy fucking locks onto me? Fuck you. Ah! My initials are named after Rex's scream. I'm guessing normal and easy. I mean, it's like, you get better rewards probably than normal, I would think. Oh, I see. That little thing I get. Gives me a uh, diagonal power up. I can shoot diagonally then. And if I get hit, I lose it. Got all the chests. Ah, fuck that fish. Just get it. Oh, I gotta go back? Oh, God. Holy shit, the music's getting fucking weird too. Oh, God. I can't uh, even, wait, what? Fuck you, what the hell? I don't think I can attack either. Oh, I can't attack. That's why you want to kill the enemies on your way down so you can make a path to get back up. I get it. There is a point to killing these guys. Also, because the angle you're at, there's pretty much no way to get these items on the way back up. Okay, careful, careful. Uh, uh. Ah. Oh God. Oh god. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Looking all right. Yes. Yes! Freedom! Give me my treasure, you dick. I was saying, special level one plus one. Affinity extend three, extend one, actually one. Affinity max barrier three. Opening art one. So how do you go to the next level then? You just play again? Oh, does the, the only one only unlock after like a while or something? Like story bits? Probably prevent you from becoming a god too early. Raise max capacity of energy converter. I don't know what the hell that means, dude. Maximum output energy consumption. Just fucking do it and see what happens. I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay, so I got accuracy up one and AC reaction nullify one. And I can set these. So Chris's accuracy nullifies one reaction. So I think these are like her abilities that I can use here. Arts cards. Skill ram, opening art, affinity max bear three. Not enough energy. Is this like a really good one, actually? So it takes 90 energy consumption. Do I? Oh, I don't have 90 left. I see. So I got to raise, raise her maximum energy. And now I can probably equip it, right? Yeah. When affinity reaches max, grant party damage barrier of max of 20% of max HP. Special level one plus one. Increase level one special damage by 20%. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. So she only has a certain number of things that she can equip at any one time. Not enough ether crystal skill upgrade. This requires a lot of ether crystals. I'm not even sure what I'm increasing though. Like, what skill? It doesn't even tell me. They look blank. Oh, I could make it in here. I see. Four percent chance of an of failing an aerial phone attack. Fails on bosses and uniques. Wait, really? The percentage of just instantly killing them? Increase the by a hundred when using a special. Jesus. Wait, what? When landing a hit restores ten percent of damage dealt to the whole party. What? When landing a hit. It will restore 10% of the party's HP or the, the damage that... What? Seriously? Is that as good as that sounds? Because that sounds insane. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 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 God, my God. 
I was like, I was thought to myself, I'm curious. I wonder if anything DLC related is actually related to her. And then I go in there and grab whatever's in there and I come back and then suddenly I have 60,000 ether crystal. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is, uh, that seems a bit insane. Oh, wait, you need a technical manual to learn this. Uh, so, okay. All right. No, this, there's something to prevent me from just grabbing the best shit here. A technical manual. Okay. I was like, uh, uh oh. <laughs> I was like, am I about to break this game in half now? Holy shit. There's so many, dude. Oh my God. Dude, how many are there? Look at this shit. It just keeps going. Jesus Christ. And that's just this part. There's even more over here. This this seems a bit much. Spend ether crystal to expand. Oh. Oh, I gotta unlock the slot to it. I see. And now I can equip this. I see. Then 1500, then 2000. Holy well, I guess might as well, right? Booyah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. You can actually basically set her. She can be anything you want her to be. Like the tank mod makes her makes her to a physical tank. Or you can make her a caster. Or you can make her an evader or a striker. That's pretty cool, actually. That's actually pretty neat. But again, I, I'm seemingly limited by whatever this technical manual is. All right, give her da increased damage from the front. Increased damage from the side. And uh, boost to... Oh, wait. Boost to affinity. Increase affinity by 70 when using a special. Okay, well, that definitely uh, helped give her a leg up. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a uh, good place to end things here for now. Interesting. That's, it's neat that uh, seemingly some of the other party members are actually getting like their own unique mechanics within the blades themselves. That doesn't actually uh, match exactly with how the other blades work for everybody else. And, oh, my God. What the hell is Poppy doing? What in the... What? But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become Piggy Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.